Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Tonight I want to share with you a nighttime routine. Now, this is a really typical weeknight routine for me. You know, those nights when you know, you want to pamper your skin and you want to do all the necessary steps to take care of your skin, but at the same time, you also just like want to jump into bed really quickly. Yeah, that's what this routine is. This routine is all about going back to the basics without cutting any corners. So this routine is all about calming and soothing the skin, hydrating, and it's about taking care of your moisture barrier. So I'm going to go wash my face and I'll meet you guys right back here. Okay, so I'm back. I've already put one layer of toner on my face, which is kind of starting to feel really parched. Um, but I want to tell you about my cleansers, and then I'll go in for some other layers and tell you about this toner. So first up is my oil cleanser, and I am still using the Wamisa Organic Flowers Cleansing Oil. Um, I've used this in routines in the past, and I'm still plugging away at this bottle. I still really like this a lot. This um, takes off makeup really, really nicely, and it's a very... Um, you know, it's kind of like a medium to slightly heavier weight oil cleanser. Now, it doesn't leave a film on your face, but it does have a little bit of a thicker feeling when you spread it across your skin, which I personally have find very soothing and comforting on the skin. Um, it just feels like it's kind of maintaining the moisture levels on my skin um, just a little bit better than some of the thinner and lighter weight oil cleansers out there. Uh, now for cleanser, um, I did go in for a old time favorite, the Make Preem Safe Me Relief Moisture Cleansing Foam. Now the reason that I chose this one over the other cleansers that I have in my routine is just because this is simple. Um, there's no like uh, acne fighting ingredients in here. We don't have any tea tree oil in here. This is low pH, which every cleanser I use is low pH, but it's just a very simple formula. Now for me right now, currently my skin is feeling just a little bit on edge. It's feeling just a little bit more sensitive, just a little bit more dehydrated. And I wanna honor that feeling and make sure that I'm taking care of my skin correctly. So that just felt like the best uh, cleanser choice, just something really simple and quite frankly, plain. Now, um, I do use my oil cleanser to take off my eye makeup as well, but sometimes there's a little bit of residue left over and there was tonight. So I went in with my Etude House Lip and Eye Remover. I hate that name. I don't want to remove my lips and my eyes. Um, this stuff, this is a huge bottle. I've been using this, this, um, this particular makeup remover for a really long time, for years. It really just does the trick. It's a, a, a bi-phase uh, makeup remover, eye makeup remover, which I like because that's that's when they're kind of separated in two layers. You have to shake it up before you use it. I just find those to work like just more effectively than other types of eye makeup removers. Plus the Etude House one is very affordable. Okay, toner. So I am still using the Keep Cool and Soothe Bamboo Toner, which uh, you guys have seen before. You guys know I am in love with this stuff. It's 85% bamboo water, which just is very deeply hydrating to the skin. And look at, I mean, I love this so much. Look at how much is left, but don't worry, I have a backup. So one of the most economical, one of the easiest, and one of the quickest ways to get a lot of hydration into your skin is just by layering up your toner and following that seven skin method. Now, I don't necessarily advise that you do all seven layers of your toner, but I think you should just do as many layers as it feels comfortable for your skin. Some people need more, some people need less. Less, and I think that it changes from day to day even. Um, this is definitely a part of what I call intuitive skincare, where you just listen to what your skin needs. And that is a very important lesson to learn on your skincare journey, just like listening to your skin. And it does change from day to day. It's not even just season to season or month to month or week to week, I mean day by day, even from morning to night, it can change and you should listen to your skin. Uh, this is my third layer. Now, the nice thing about this one is that it's quick absorbing. Uh, because it is so watery, it does seem to just kind of like just 
right into the skin, um, which I really, really like. So recently I used a sheet mask that had um, alcohol in it. Now you guys know that I'm not a fan of simple or, or, or what are considered drying alcohols because it really does dry out my skin. I'm very sensitive to those types of ingredients in skincare. Um, I usually do okay with them. It depends on the formulation, but like in creamier products like sunscreens, I can usually tolerate them, but I mean, I just kind of know I'm usually not a fan of them in uh, products that absorb deeply into the skin like sheet masks or toners. Um, I did use a sheet mask that had a simple alcohol in the formula. I thought it would be okay because it was like towards the bottom of the list, which means there's not going to be a lot of it in there. But I have to tell you, it just irritated my skin. You know, it wasn't one of those things where you're like, oh my god my skin is red it wasn't like that it was just you know i use the sheet mask in my morning routine and then by like four or five o'clock at night my skin felt incredibly parched and dehydrated and i was like oh yeah we know what the culprit is um it actually you know it, it's one of those things i think it actually just kind of exasperated an, an already existing issue on my skin which is that it's just feeling very dehydrated and as much as I preach about um, listening to your skin sometimes you just don't always recognize the signs immediately because they can be very subtle and I think that my skin was already kind of veering on the like m like more very dehydrated side um, then I had realized and so that sheet mask just sort of pushed me over the edge so that's why I'm really focusing on a soothing calming hydrating and moisture barrier care all right so I'm gonna go in for the Purito fermented complex 94 boosting essence now this product um, I choose this for a couple of reasons number one it is a very watery kind of fluid essence it's one of those products that you could easily use as a toner um, um, or confuse it as a toner um, so it's very it's very easily absorbed and accepted by the skin very quickly dries down quickly but it also contains 3% niacinamide now niacinamide we know this is a very great brightening ingredient but niacinamide is also a really good supporting player when it comes to barrier care now of course you know I always talk about that holy trinity of ingredients the cholesterol the ceramides and the fatty acid but there are other supporting players that kind of just work in tandem with that holy trinity to really strengthen and fortify your moisture barrier and niacinamide happens to be one of them I also am leaning on this right now as well because it's actually essential oil free uh, it doesn't contain any fragrance and of course it's alcohol free every 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 product that we're using today is alcohol free um, most of the skincare products I use are generally alcohol free but I wanted to put that one out there um, so even though this can help brighten up your skin why I'm really using this is to help uh, my skin repair itself um, from that sensitivity and that mild irritation that it did receive so I'm going to be going in for another essence we're going to be doing double essence tonight now here's the thing about essences serums toners I'll tell you what ampules right like the names are starting to not mean as much as they used to um, I really go by consistency um, and I go by ingredients when it comes to how I layer and how I build a skincare routine that's something that comes with I think a little bit more experience then you just start to feel more comfortable doing it I mean as much as we have a ton of rules about what goes with what what ingredients do not mix with each other which ingredients boost each other what do you need to create an effective skincare routine there are, it, it's overwhelming there are a lot of rules right but at the same time I mean at the end of the day like first a lot of this I hate to say like you know calm down it's just skincare it's gonna be okay but like calm down it's just skincare it's gonna be okay it all goes to the same place at the end of the day right so um, I, I mean I, I encourage having a little bit more flexibility in your skincare routine so I am going to go in for the Oliverier uh, Dual Moist Hyaluron Essence. Now the reason why I'm kind of doing a double essence here, uh, the reason why I'm choosing this one is because this is a very balancing essence. Now this is where we start to bridge the gap between pure like water and hydration on the skin. And this is where we start to bring in more of the moisture and the oil onto the skin because you know everything about skin it's all about balancing that oil and water on your skin and this is just 
that product that just does it for me. It just really starts, it's just a really good middleman, if you know what I mean. It really just bridges that gap. So the reason that this essence is just so balancing on the skin is it truly is a balance between water and oil. We've got hyaluronic acid, which we know to be a beautiful humectant that draws a lot of water deep into the skin. And it's actually microhyaluronic acid, which means that it can actually penetrate deeply into your skin versus traditional hyaluronic acid, which has a pretty big molecule. It's really difficult for it to penetrate penetrate into your skin. This is also balanced with squalolane oil. Squalolane oil is one of those oils that is just so good for your skin. And it's actually another one that is very good for keeping your moisture barrier very strong. It's really going to help us we're starting to build up that layer now that we have the hydration in our skin. We're starting to build up that layer of moisture that's going to hug it and keep it into our skin. And it's going to help protect us against dehydration. So sticking in the Keep Cool family, I'm actually really enjoying their bamboo serum right now as well. So this actually has 66% bamboo extract in it. And just like the toner, this is something that feels just very soothing, very uh, hydrating on the skin. But this also, because it's a serum, it starts to become more balanced with moisture as well. Another reason why I like that Keep Cool Serum too is because it doesn't have a lot of weight to it. You know, some serums can veer on the side of really heavy and some can veer on the side of really watery. This is really beautifully in the middle of that and that means that it just absorbs into my skin really quickly. And that's really the name of the game here. You know, um, I'm trying to get as much goodness into my skin in the least amount of time possible. So it wouldn't be a routine without eye cream, right? Um, I'm actually actually been really impressed with this Purito Centella Green Level Eye Cream. First of all, this stuff is extremely affordable. This is about $11, um, give or take, depending on where you get it from. Um, so super inexpensive, but it's packed jam full of um, really wonderful ingredients for your eye area. So first of all, Centella. Centella is actually a great um, anti-aging uh, ingredient, which is sort of unknown for a lot of people because, you know, Centella is always known for its soothing, calming properties. It's great for inflammation. It's great for acne, but it actually does have wrinkle fighting capabilities as well. So we've got a ton of Centella in here. I think it's 49% Centella that's in this cream, um, but it's also formulated with peptides. Now you guys know I'm a really big fan of peptides um, for um, sort of like early anti-aging um, purposes because peptides really help support your collagen um, structure of your skin, which is what keeps your skin wrinkle-free, smooth. It helps to fight fine lines um, and keeps your skin elastic. So for something that's so affordable, um, with so many great ingredients, it's like it's like a no-brainer. You know, I absolutely recommend this eye cream, especially, you know, especially if you're looking for an eye cream that is inexpensive. Because to be honest with you, my bias um, in skincare was always that eye creams were like unnecessarily expensive and like that I couldn't afford them because eye creams were always like 30, 40, 50 and up, um, especially in Western skincare before I discovered Korean skincare and they actually have really great eye creams that have fantastic ingredients that do more than just hydrate your eye area. Um, so I'm, I, I mean, I can't rave about this one enough. Okay, this is a routine that is all about barrier care. So we have to have a barrier treatment. And I'm still plugging away at my great barrier relief from Crave Beauty. Um, I just like this one. It's got everything that we need. We've got that holy trinity of ingredients, the ceramides, cholesterol, and fatty acids in here. We've also got uh, quite a bit of niacinamide in this formula as well. So again, remember that this is a supporting player to keeping your moisture barrier strong or strengthening it up um, if you need a little bit of help. And I need a little bit of help right now. So I'm most definitely keeping this uh, in my routine. This is a very emollient cream. So I am starting to kind of build up um, more emollient layers. Now this is going to help seal in that hydration, keep it hugged to my skin. Now at nighttime, um, I do go pretty I did go pretty intense on the emollient layers. Uh, my skin does seem to handle it pretty well, and my biggest concern is fighting against transepidermal water loss. You know, when you go to sleep, you start to lose water out of your skin, especially if you have dehydrated skin. Um, this is a hallmark of dehydrated skin, and when you're sleeping, a lot of times you'll lose a lot of water out of your skin very quickly, making it dehydrated, irritated, um, again, once you wake up in the morning. So if you ever wake up in the morning, you feel like your skin is really dry and 
parched, it's probably because you're experiencing transepidermal water loss and you might need to adjust your nighttime routine to kind of help address that. One of the best ways to address transepidermal water loss is to take care of your moisture barrier because when your moisture barrier is strong, you're not going to experience that much transepidermal water loss. But um, if you're struggling with your moisture barrier, it's something that you want to look out for. And one of the other ways besides just taking care of your moisture barrier is to start to kind of um, start to seal in your layers. You want to make sure you've got great moisture barrier loving ingredients in your creams, but you also want to make sure that there's some good occlusive layers in there as well. Okay, so the moisturizer that I'm using is um, pretty brand spanking new. This is a product that I recently learned about researching a different product. This one popped up um, and pretty much within the next like two days I ordered this cream because I couldn't stop thinking about it um, and then I couldn't wait for it to ship I just recently did a huge you'll say haul um, and this cream was part of that haul and it was the very first product I opened up like this is how excited I am about it and I shared this on Instagram and it seems like a lot of you guys are excited about it too so without further ado this is the Addo Palm MLE cream now I am very very excited to share this with you guys because this is a cream that has the holy trinity ceramides cholesterol and fatty acids and not only that it has the golden ratio of those ingredients. Now, if you recall from uh, the Stradia Liquid Gold review, the, um, the golden ratio is basically um, ceramides, cholesterol, and fatty acids formulated to a certain ratio that makes them the most effective and the most healing for your skin because it mimics your skin's natural ratio of the moisture barrier. And that's 50% ceramides, 25% cholesterol, and 15% fatty acids. That is not an easy ratio to find. Not um, because it's hard to do necessarily, but part of it is because not everybody knows about this golden ratio, but also the fact that not every company discloses the ratio of these ingredients in their products. So one of the um, one of the creams that I know for sure has it is Stradia Liquid Gold. One of the creams that we now can add to that list is this Addo Palm MLE cream. Now there's some other really exciting, interesting um, things about this cream, including that MLE, which is supposed to be kind of like a new generation of ceramides. I can't speak about it too much because like I said, this is still fairly new and I like to do a lot of research and a lot of testing before I start um, saying too much about stuff. But what I can tell you, it's a very emollient cream. It feels a very, you know, it feels lightweight wearing on the skin, but it still feels very nourishing on the skin. Now, don't get me wrong. This is still a very rich cream, but it doesn't feel suffocating on the skin. It's actually... Um, the texture itself I'm very, very impressed with because as I said, it is very lightweight on the skin and it doesn't, it doesn't make you feel uh, suffocated. So a very exciting uh, discovery and I'm really excited to really put this one through the ringer and then bring you guys an in-depth review. But what I can tell you so far is it feels amazing on the skin. You know, like I said, very nourishing, very comforting on the skin. And especially because my skin has been feeling on the irritated side lately, this has been one of those creams that I am excited to reach for to help soothe and heal my skin. So masking is always a great way to fight dehydration and even to protect your skin from transepidermal water loss. But I've got to be honest with you, I just don't always feel like I have the time to do a mask. You know, sometimes the time commitment of doing a mask is just too much for me. I'm a busy person and like I said, sometimes I just need to get the basics in, but I don't want to cut corners. And when I feel like that, honestly, leaning on sleeping masks is one of your best options, especially if you're fighting against transepidermal water loss through the night. Sleeping masks are just a really ideal way to do that. So I've been really leaning on the, Lina the Laneige uh, Sika Sleeping Mask. This is unlike a Laneige sleeping pack you may know. So the, um, the water sleeping pack from Laneige is like a gel-like, very humectant uh, uh, texture. It's very thin and lightweight on the skin. And the Sika Mask is not like that at all. The Sika Mask is actually more of a cream sleeping pack.
Now, the reason why I really like this one recently is because it just feels very soothing on the skin. Now, I'm kind of becoming a sucker for anything that uh, has Centella in it, or Sika in the name. And this does have uh, quite a few different um, compounds of Centella in it, including Matacasticide, which is a real star ingredient for keeping your skin um, soothed and calm. However, Laneige has actually um, a patented ingredient that is in this cream that is called forest yeast and based on what I read about this forest yeast which is patented to Amore Pacific um, this forest yeast is actually like 112 times more effective than metacasticide at calming irritation on your skin that sold me on this on this mask um, that really sold me on this mask so I really like using this mask right now especially because my skin is like i said a lot more irritated um, on the sensitive side and definitely dehydrated so this is a beautiful uh mix of moisturizers of occlusives plus really beautiful soothing ingredients now this feels buttery soft uh, when you spread it across your skin it feels like butter and it makes your skin feel like butter too it really softens your skin and it's a really beautiful mix of really moisturizing ingredients it also has some good occlusive layers in it that's what's going to protect us from that moisture loss that transepidermal water loss um, that can occur especially when you have dehydrated skin so that is a typical weeknight routine for me that is all about just taking care of my skin soothing it comforting it and really making sure that I am uh, doing the best that I can for my moisture barrier so let me know in the comment box below do you guys do like really long elaborate routines at nighttime um, or do you save that for the weekends I have to be honest with you, I mostly am saving those really elaborate routines for the weekends or if I have extra time, I will start my routine pretty early in the evening. But I've been leaning on routines like this a lot more recently. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I release two new skincare videos every single week and don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss the next time I upload the new video. I hope you guys have a fantastic night and I cannot wait to see you in the next video. I'll see you soon. Bye.